Amanda Bynes will no longer continue her latest podcast venture. The former child star, 37, took to her Instagram story on Sunday, December 18th, to announce the end of her show, Amanda Bynes and Paul C. Minsky, the podcast, for the time being. So even though the podcast is doing really well and the response has been great, I'm going to take a pause on it for now, Bynes said in the short clip. As for a reason for the abrupt halt, the Amanda Show actress explained, we are not able to get the type of guest that I'd like on the show like, say, Jack Harlow or Drake or Post Malone. So maybe one day if we're able to get those types of guests on the show, we will resume the podcast. But for now, I'm taking a pause on it, she continued. Thank you everyone who watched, I really hope you enjoyed it. And that is all for now. Bynes fans went wild on social media, with one Twitter user responding to a post about the news on X, formerly known as Twitter, writing, what a mess? Um, what happened to her? A second person chimed in about the hairspray alum. Same reason why mine never got off the ground, a third user said regarding Bynes lack of A-list guests. Do you think she'll ever try again, for was this a one-time experiment? Another pondered about the abandoned project. The break may be for the best, as the She's All That actress checked herself into inpatient care this summer to take care of her mental health and her bipolar disorder. She wants to work on her illness, a source said of Vines at the time. She checked into an inpatient facility where she will have 24-7 care with experienced healthcare workers and be around other patients so she doesn't feel so isolated, the insider explained. Clearly, living by herself wasn't helping her. After calling off her engagement with ex-fiancé, Paul Michael Bynes feared being left to her own devices during a vulnerable mental health period may not be the best idea. She's worried she'll go off her meds if she lives by herself, the source added. Amanda recognizes that what she needs is a structured environment. She has hoped things will improve. The easiest star was released from her nearly nine-year conservatorship in March 2022 after her mother, Lynn, served as her conservator for the entirety of the court order.